Lee Chong Wei, the best badminton player ever? Maybe not, but he is certainly the most memorable ever, having millions of fans and supporters all over the world. He is known for his impressive gameplay and especially his long rivalry with the infamous Lin Dan. Lee Chong Wei grew up in Bagan Sarai, Perak, into a Malaysian Chinese family. When he was young, he spent his time playing basketball with the dreams of becoming a top player. This abruptly stopped when his mom banned him from playing basketball due to the scorching heat of the basketball court. Lee's father then introduced Lee into badminton, and he quickly attracted the attention of the local coach, Te Peng Huat, who took Lee under his wing. When Lee was 17 years old, he was drafted into the national squad by former badminton player, Miss Boon Sidek. The years 2002 and 2003 are seen as the start of Lee Chong Wei's professional career. He managed to reach the final at the 2003 Malaysian Open, but was defeated by Chen Hong of China. In 2004, he secured titles at the Malaysian Open and the Chinese Taipei Open, securing him a spot for the 2000 2004 Olympics. At the Olympics, Lee advanced the first round, but hit the wall in the second round. In 2005, he won his second Malaysia Open title, as well as a bronze medal at the World Championships, losing to Taufik Hidayat. 2006 was a huge year for Lee Chong Wei, winning titles at the Swiss Open, Asian Games, the Commonwealth Games, and his third Malaysian Open title. The Malaysian Open sported a legendary match between Lee and Lin Dan, where Lee was down 13. 20 in the second set, and he managed to win the match 23-21. When everything seemed to be going great, 2007 was a rather disappointing year for Lee Chong Wei. He was not able to reach the final of the Malaysian Open for the first time in five years, and he also suffered five early exits from tournaments in competitions afterwards. Furthermore, Lee did not play well in the 2007 World Championships, and he later criticized his coach Yap Kim Hock for treating him indifferent and putting a lot of pressure on him before the World Championships. Lee kicked off the Olympic year of 2008 with great success, winning his fourth Malaysia Open title. But despite the good start of a year, he only got one more title before the Olympic Games, which was the Singaporean Open. He played in a lot of other tournaments, but was not able to place. But in the Thomas Cup, he beat Lin Dan. In the 2008 Olympics, Lee had high hopes, being ranked the number one player at the time it seemed like he was the player who would take the gold medal. In the Olympic Games, Lee cruised right to the semifinals, where he met the South Korean player, Lee Hyunil, who gave him a tough fight, but he advanced to the finals. In the finals, Lee met the player Lin Dan, who he had won against just a few months prior, but he suffered an embarrassing defeat, losing 21-12, 21, 12, 21 8. Following the Olympic Games, Lee managed to advance to the finals of Japan Open, the Macau Open, and the China Open, but did not manage to win. Furthermore, Lee withdrew from Hong Kong, blaming a knee injury, making the Chinese media tagging him as the weakest world number one. Despite his losses, he managed to win his seventh consecutive badminton Grand Prix finals, breaking the previous world record of six set by Miss Bun Sidek. 2009 was an interesting year. Starting off the season, he won his fifth Malaysia Open title, but failed to take the gold medal in the Korea and All England Open despite being in the finals in both these tournaments. Furthermore, Lee lost to Chen Long in the India Open, claiming his food was poisoned which also affected his performance at the World Championships. Lee started 2010 off strong with winning everything in sight, winning the Korea Open, as well as getting his sixth Malaysian Open title. He even managed to get his first All England Open title. At the World Championships, Lee's performance was not the best, losing to Taufik Hidayat in the quarterfinals. His coach, Miss Bun Sidek, claimed the loss was caused by a back injury Lee had picked up a few games prior. In 2011, he got his revenge, beating Taufik Hidayat in the Malaysia Open Finals, securing him his seventh Malaysia Open gold medal. Despite the good start of this season, Lee did not manage to defend his Korean Open title, losing against Lin Dan once again. Although he might have lost, it was not without a fight. They played a tight three sets where both players brought out the best in each other. This is no surprise considering they were fighting over a whole $1 million in prize money. The Olympic year of 2012 had its ups and downs for Lee starting the year of strong twitch getting revenge on Lin Dan at the Korean Open, winning a three-setter in the finals, securing him $1 million. A week later, he won his fifth consecutive and eight Malaysia Open title, proving his dominance on the home court. His momentum sadly came to an end when he bowed out in the second round of the All England Open, but this was after receiving medical help on three separate occasions. Now for the highlight of the year, the London 2012 Summer Olympics. At first, it seemed like Lee Chong Wei was destined to fail, having suffered from an ankle injury some months prior. 
In Lee's first match at the Olympics, he played against the Finnish player Viel Lang, a lower-ranked player, but the match ended with a three-set win from Lee. It was clear that Lee was nervous and felt a lot of pressure. Despite the bad performance in the first match, Lee cruised past the other rounds, even beating the Chinese player Chen long in the semi-finals with straight sets. This led to the match of the badminton history books, Lee Chong Wei versus Lin Dan. Lee fought on and won the first set. The second set was close, but Lin Dan took the win. This makes a third set. Lee actually had the point lead most of the game, but coming up the final points of the game, Lin Dan pushed hard and managed to win 21-19, making Lee go home with a silver medal once again. 2013 was another successful year for Lee Chong Wei, getting his third Korea Open title, as well as his ninth Malaysia Open title a week later, which broke the previous record of eight titles held by Wong Peng Soon. He also won the Indian Open and his fifth Indonesia Open. At the World Championships, Lee Chong Wei once again found himself in a final against Lin Dan, this time having to surrender in the third set after experiencing painful leg cramps. Despite winning the Korea Open the previous years, Lee did not succeed in 2014, but just a week later he got his 10th Malaysian Open title, which is a record that probably will never be beaten. His form improved for the All England where he grabbed a third title. Lee resumed play at the World Championships in August, after suffering from a serious hamstring injury. He found himself at the finals against Chen Long, but lost in straight sets. Lee found himself in a doping controversy in 2014, after the Badminton Association of Malaysia confirmed that one of the nation's top shutters tested positive for dexamethasone, which is an anti-inflammatory drug. This was later revealed to be Lee Chong Wei. He suffered an eight-month suspension from competitive play as well as getting his silver medal from the 2014 World Championships revoked. At the World Championships, Lee easily advanced to the finals where he stumbled upon Chen long like he did in 2014. Unfortunately, Lee did not make the cut and had to settle for a silver medal. Following this, Lee won the French Open and his first ever China Open title defeating Lin Dan, making him the first player to have won all Super Series titles. The Olympic year of 2016 was the year Lee was finally going to get an Olympic gold medal. It started off good with winning his fifth Malaysia Masters title. Unfortunately, he lost in the first round of the All England Open a few weeks later. Lee also got his 11th Malaysia Open title and his record-breaking sixth Indonesia Open title. At the 2016 Rio Olympics, Lee cruised straight to the final after beating Lin Dan in the semi-finals showcasing dominating gameplay Lee was determined to win. In the finals, he met Chen Long, a player who he had lost to in several world championships before. The match was tough, and both players gave it their all to win the gold medal. But Chen Long persevered in the end, winning 21-18 in the final set. In 2017, Lee won his fourth All England Open title. But after this, he was unable to win any notable tournaments. In the world championships, he was knocked out of the first round. Maybe he had given up on becoming the world champion. In 2018, Lee broke all odds, winning his 12th Malaysia Open title. This was a miracle considering Lee was 35 years old at the time. He was still a top player, but his form was nowhere near as it used to be. After this tournament, he participated in the Indonesia Open where he reached semi-finals. But that was it, the last game of Lee Chong Wei. This was caused by the fact that Lee had been diagnosed with nose cancer. The year 2019 marked an end for Lee's career. Announcing his retirement on June 13th, the retirement came from the recommendations of his doctor because high intensity on the boy could cause the nose cancer to resurface. Lee will be remembered as one of the greatest badminton players in history, and his record of 12 Malaysia Open titles will probably never be beaten. This was the story of Lee Chong Wei.